Les Dawson, lover of words and master of the variety stage, found many ways to make us laugh. But he will be best remembered for a trick he claims rescued him as a rookie in the working man's clubs. It was a guaranteed showstopper, his signature routine. Everyone knew the punchline, but a Les Dawson appearance was incomplete without it. demanded it in the end. I mean, if Les didn't play the piano, he, if, if I saw this happen on many, many occasions, um, I, he'd be working front cloth, you know, and then the, the curtains would open and there would be the grand piano. Right? And the audience would just applaud at the piano because they knew what was coming. You know, the audience demanded that. Uh, I mean, you know, you wind the clock back to when Les first started doing that, um, and it was really dealing with rude northern audiences who weren't going to sit and listen to his, his banter and his patter, his jokes. All they wanted to do was have a few jars and sing. So he thought, fine, you want to sing, you sing. Now, come on, let's hear you now. Let's raise the roof. It won't take much doing the good things on the inside. Are you ready? <laughs> made everything look effortless. He'd sat down and worked out, right, which are the right wrong notes. It's quite easy to play the piano badly and not be funny, as any music teacher will tell you. But, um, but to play the piano badly and be always hilarious is, well, firstly, you need to know what you're doing, and secondly, you need to be funny. And he was, and just the, the timing of the way he, and the, and the whole persona of the way he's sitting on that stool and looking at the audience and on the kind of cheesy grin. Anybody else trying to do that with a piano would would turn it into a joke. If you look at Les playing the piano, he believes every note he isn't playing. He, he completely, totally believable that he thinks he's doing it right. He played piano every day at home and played classical um, and jazz and always went through the off-key piano playing at home as well, which was nice. He would start off quite serious on the piano before lunch, and then he would um, play jazz, and then he would do the off-key piano playing, so we'd know then he was at the end, really. Les knew how to get the most from a piano. But he never forgot that before he was famous, he thought his fortune lay as a singer first, and comedian second. I saw a clip of him doing, um, singing Feelings, and he starts to sing, he goes, Feelings, teardrops, they're rolling down on my face. Sort of thinking, mm, is, this, is this for real? Because he's okay, he's okay singing. Trying to forget my feelings of love. And then, of course, he's going, Feelings! You know it's coming, but it's all the more joyful because you know it's coming. 